Hi, I'm John and I'm a member of the TT Magazine team. You might recognise me or hear me from the Bondathon podcast that I host with Bobby and Alex. If you haven't listened to our Bondathon podcasts, there's a whole series of them from Doctor No up to No Time to Die, all 25, with a couple of special episodes in between here and there, talking about all the Bond films um, and our theories and our likes and dislikes and our ratings. So it's well worth a listen. Uh, you can le learn more about the Bond, but also learn more about us, the hosts, as well. Today's video is in part to introduce me as a member of the team, but also to talk about something that I've been playing around with recently, which is the new Apple Image Playground app, which is available on all um, Apple Silicon Macs, on all uh, M series iPads, which is the M1, 2, and 4, and on the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro uh, Plus and 16. Uh, and I was thinking about putting together a video of how you make how you make images and image playgrounds and how it's used. But I think by now, most of you Apple enthusiasts know how that works. Um, so I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Instead, I thought it would be fun just to play around with it with um, images of the podcast hosts so you can get to know us uh, and see how good or bad the software is. So um, I'm going to have a fiddle with the software now and show you what I've come up with. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to start with my own face. Uh, here we go. You can see my face uh, on the screen here. Um, I'm going to have a go at... Um, two different variations for both the hosts, the animation style and the illustration style. We'll start with animation style, here we go. So um, your image that you start off with produces uh, a variety of pictures. Now, um, I have to say at the moment, <laughs> comparing my image to um, what's on, oh, that's quite accurate, what's on um, the screen here, I think of the three images, <laughs> I mean, the first one is the most fun, I think, but um, yeah, I mean, what is that? Is that meant to be an Apple Watch around the outside of my face? Very strange. So um, I think I'll probably choose just for, for, for laughs. Uh, yeah, I'll probably choose the first one here. Um, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add uh, some extra features into this. So since it is Christmas, while I'm recording this, I'm going to add winter holidays to it. And you'll notice that when I add the, uh, the next criteria to the video, to the picture, um, it does change the picture slightly. Um, and I seem to have what, a combination of a hat or, or what could be a hot water bottle on my head. So I'm going to cycle through a few of these. That's quite good, although the teeth are a bit weird. Um, this is quite a common feature I find in the image playground pictures is you get like a weird sort of headless bust on the ground uh, with some st scary snowmen. I quite like that one, but I think I'm going to stick, I think I'll stick with hmm, definitely not um, hot water bottle head. Probably that one. Okay, so I'm going to click on done and you can see that when I'm happy with that, uh, it generates the picture and it's then part of your library. So I'm going to do the same again this time, but with the illustration tool. So we'll do another one. Uh, we'll choose my picture again. It never produces the same image twice. You'll notice that when it comes up again, it's slightly different. But I'm going to go to the different style down here, which is now illustration. Um, and I t tend to prefer the illustration ones, although I look very old and tired in that picture. It's not a very flattering picture. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so here we go. Um, I do find that uh, image playgrounds either reveals my true age to me, I perceive myself as younger, or ages me, but I think, um, yeah, let's go for that one. And uh, I'm going to, because I'm looking uh, tired, I'm gonna add a sweatband to that. And I wonder if I can add some sort of uh, <laughs> background that's relevant to um, exercise. Goodness me, I look, um, sh I've got more hair in that one, which I quite like, but it's not the most flattering image. I can't seem to find any sort of um, sport, sporty background. So, there we go, stadium. I'll, I'll put myself in a stadium as well, all right? so. Um, let that render up. I'll look at the alternatives. I'm starting to look a bit like an extra from uh, the Ted Lasso series now. I'm not entirely sure. Is that a Brazilian colours there? There we go. I've got a nice headband. So I'm going to use that one there. Not a very flattering image, but that, that's kind of, it has given me more hair. Okay, you can compare these two images here now and see how they differ. Let's now have a go at um, getting uh, one of the other hosts in here. So let's try Bobby next. So um, I'm going to go to my um, choose photo option here. I'm going to go to my um, I've done a host folder here and I'm going to put Bobby in. I found this picture from Bobby's Instagram. And this is the only thing about image playgrounds I find a bit dodgy. You can find any picture of any person, whack it in there without their permission and make an image. And there's a picture of a very young looking Bobby. Um, and I'm going to cycle through these images. Um, there's some good selections here, but I think the first one is, I think, uh, my favourite. Now, Bobby likes driving, so I'm going to make him a racing car driver. See how that affects the picture. 
Um, and that should generate, no, for some reason it's given him headphones, even though I've not asked him to, but maybe he's, oh, that's a good one, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure why it's added headphones to him before, but um, look at that one, he's, he's got some sort of tech aura. Uh, I'm gonna go for this middle one here, and then let's see what else I can add to him as well in terms of, um, let's have him with a, a nice sunset in the background. And add those three together, see what we get. Oh, look at that. Very nice picture of him. I look at some of the variations to see if any improvements. Again, it's this sort of helmet headphone thing is weird, but I'm gonna go with that one. It's a lovely picture of our um, esteemed uh, car enthusiast host. Very smouldering look. You can see actually in, in um, Image Playgrounds, again, you can't cope with the text very well, and eyes are always a bit of an issue. But there we go, so there's Bobby as um, an animation. So now let's have a go at making him as a uh, different style now. We'll choose him again. So I'm gonna choose Bobby once more. Go back to that uh, image of him, and I'm going to choose the uh, illustration style now. Let's see how that compares. There we go. It's got that same sort of slightly. Um, uh, I've got like the first one. Am I going to? Um, what else can I add to him? Let's have a look. Should we give him some sunglasses? Let's give him some sunglasses, and um, let's um, put some fireworks behind him. Okay, and uh, look at the variations, because it looks like in that picture there, as it generates, that Bobby somehow has the ability to, to see through. On the, the sunglasses aren't very uh, they're clear ones, aren't they, really? He looks like a waiter in that picture. There we go, I'm gonna go with that one. Um, and he's looking a bit happier as well, although his eyes look very strange in that one. All right, and finally, let's look at Alex. So we're gonna go back and choose another picture. This time I'm gonna choose Alex. I'm sure he's gonna love me doing this. Um, go into my host folder again and see what comes up with Alex. Now Alex, uh, I don't know if he's had a go at this with his own phones, I'm not sure if he's not big on the Apple scenario, but there's the first picture of Alex. Um, they're all quite flattering actually, I think he's, Alex comes out the best here. Oh, wow, I'm enjoying his hair. That's a good picture, I like that one there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a winter scarf to that one. And make it a starry night as well. Let's see how that comes up. Again, the picture does change when you add these elements to it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I think the first one's better. There we go. So Alex, very flattering picture of Alex, I think. They're very nice compared to the ones I've made of myself and Bobby. Um, and, he, well, actually, to be honest, I think <laughs> I'm the least flattering. Let's have a go at making an illustration of um, Alex as well. Um, so we'll change to the illustration style and we'll choose Alex again. We'll see how this turns out. and I'm going to have him by a volcano and I'm going to have him, what should I have him wearing? Any other clothes based things? Let's make him a superhero in front of the volcano. There we go. And look at the variations of that. And so, oh, he looks a, bit, a little bit older in that one. Sort of a Captain, retired Captain America visiting, I don't know, the Italian coast there. Why has it aged him so much being a superhero? Maybe living near a volcano affects your, your hair cut, your hair follicles. But uh, yeah, they're all they're all quite similar. I'm going to go with um, that one there because he looks quite sort of um, I think moody. Okay, I'll kick on done. So there we have it. We have our um, our six photographs of our podcast hosts. I might add these to the Instagram later on <laughs> and see how what reactions we get. But uh, I'm not sure how useful this tool is. It's fun. Um, but how long will it be before people stop sending these pictures to each other and say, and, and having a laugh? I wonder if Apple will release uh, updates to this which improves it. I'm sure they probably will. But um, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, have a fun with the image playgrounds yourself um, and watch more videos to follow.